Everything that rocks, it is Z97.5. I am Samantha Knight. Pretty excited to be joined on the phone right now by the commissioner of the new Three Ice Hockey League, Craig Patrick. Thank you so much. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm, I'm fantastic. I'm very excited to be talking to you today. Um, I'm a huge hockey fan, so this is kind of a, an exciting deal that they came to me and said, hey, not only are we going to be giving away tickets to this Three Ice thing, you're going to get to talk to Craig Patrick. And I'm like, okay, that man is a legend, okay? <laughs> and I'm sure I don't have to tell you that. You know what you've accomplished in your career. Uh, but for my listeners that don't know, I mean, you kind of had a little something, something to do with the 1980 Miracle Team. I still remember watching that game as a, as a little tyke. You have served with the New York Rangers and the Penguins. You have drafted some of the best names to ever play the game, uh, including Sidney Crosby, Mike Richter, who was one of my all-time favorites, Yarmir Yager, Mark andre Fleury. So it's safe to say that when it comes to the sport of hockey, you kind of know what you're doing, Craig. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> you've tried. So now you've got this three ice hockey thing going on. And of course, this is something brand new to us. We, uh, we're we only like 40 minutes away from Nashville. And of course, a lot of us get involved with the Nashville Predators and all of that. But three ice hockey, this is something and this is an entirely different animal. So tell me a little bit about what three ice is and how it came to be. Yeah, well, um, it came to be Eddie Johnson was a, a goaltender and a coach and a general manager in the National Hockey League. And he had a son, EJ, who grew up in a hockey family, but also... Uh, um, got into sports marketing and doing TV shows for for fashion out in Hollywood. Okay. So he had a background in hockey, TV, marketing. And he, when the NHL came out with three-on-three overtime to decide games, yeah. uh, a lot of the teams had rookie camps the, in, the, in the early parts of their seasons, and they would do three-on-three tournaments. Okay. And EJ happened to go to one in New Jersey and one in Pittsburgh and noticed that the people that were in, in attendance were on the edge of their seat the whole time <laughs> looking at these young guys compete three-on-three. And they, just the excitement that was there, he said, man, that, this could be great for TV. I, and he thought about it for a while. Then he started bouncing it off some hockey people. And then he put together a, a team. This is like four and a half, five years ago. Uh-huh. Uh, to, to work on the business side. And a couple years ago, he approached myself and his dad, Eddie, to help out in the hockey side. And I, when I heard about it, I got all excited because I just thought, wow, three-on-three three hockey could be great. Right. And um, so that's how I got involved. It's interesting, too, because, you know, for people who, people like me, I've been watching hockey since like 1986. So I'm very excited just to see the coaches. <laughs> The names of the coaches on, on this league right now, I'm just like, oh my God, these guys are amazing. They've always been amazing. But for people that have maybe are maybe new to the sport of hockey, to me, when I try to explain it to them, I'm like, you know what? It's the most exciting sport you could ever watch. It is, it's it's ballet on knives. It hits bigger and harder than football. There's so much more skill, so much more athleticism that goes into the whole thing. And, you know, you and I both know watching five on five hockey is exciting enough. And when it gets to that three on three, it gets crazy. And of course, everybody working their way towards the Stanley Cup, which which is the most coveted trophy in all of sports. And to see, you know, what these guys go through to get to that, the idea of having it stripped down, though, it seems a little bit more exhausting. These guys have got to be probably a whole lot younger and a hell of a lot more conditioned, right? Well, they have, they have to be conditioned. We've got we've got some guys that play in the NHL that aren't, aren't that young, but our average age is about 28, 29. Okay. And they really get to display their skills. That's, the players love it because they can really show off their skill level. And the fans are really entertained by it because it's back and forth. We changed some of the the rules that the NHL uses just to kind of fit our product we want to we want our product to be okay and so one of the things we, we borrowed from basketball is we, we don't allow once you get into the offensive zone you can't go back court you can't get back to your defensive zone okay you turn the puck uh, the other one we have we're, there's no hitting no fighting but there are penalties okay and instead of somebody instead of somebody sitting in the box we have a penalty shot and the penalty shot we borrowed from soccer where the shooter gets to shoot yeah and then if he doesn't score the pucks in play. That so, I think that's uh, that's something I think should go to the NHL. I think that would be fantastic because penalty shots never get called enough. Anyway, in my opinion, that's a pretty exciting part of the game for sure. Yes, yes, it is. It's, we're going into our seventh week now. We're going to be in Quebec City this week and then come to Nashville for our eighth event. And it's gotten better and better every week. And I had high expectations when I first got involved, and they've ex- my expectations have been exceeded immensely. So it's just it's just so fun to watch. We're looking forward to watching it too. I'm looking forward to watching it too. Uh, in the meantime, log on to Z975.com. You can register to win tickets to the Three Ice game happening on August 6th at Bridgestone Arena, 4.30 in the afternoon. More with Craig Patrick, commissioner of the brand new Three on Three, Three Ice Hockey League in just a few on Z975. Life in Clarksville sounds better with everything that rocks. Z975. Everything that rocks it is Z975.
97.5 I am Samantha Knight Joined on the phone right now by the commissioner Of the brand new Three Ice Professional Hockey League This is three on three hockey Talking with Craig Patrick You have six teams in this And then there's the taxi squad So let's talk first about uh, I gotta throw these names out here Because uh, you know I, I remember watching Brian Trottier Playing with the New York Islanders I remember John LeClaire with the Flyers uh, Grant Fuhr One of the greatest goalies ever to play the game Guy Carboneau All of those years in Montreal So those are, are some of the coaches that you've got and with these teams. And here's what's interesting too because in regular hockey you'll have, you know, what, 20, 20 guys to a team. This is like six or seven. Yeah, six skaters and a goal, yes. Okay. Right. They're jumping over the boards really rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be even more exhausting because when, when guys are skating, you know, 45 second shifts and it's like, when do you get a chance to breathe? <laughs> There's right. not a whole lot of relief. What happens, though, if you get, you know, someone gets injured? We have e-bugs that travel with us okay. uh, in, the, in the taxi squad. And uh, if a guy gets injured during a game, like our, our games are two halves. Okay. Um, Instead of three minutes, periods. Right? Okay. Yeah. And if, if somebody gets hurt in a game, you can't replace them until the next game if, if you advance. Yeah, so it's sometimes, well, so far, nobody's gotten hurt. So it's, uh, one, one goal has been hurt. So we've been, we've been fortunate. So the taxi squad, explain to me um, a little bit about this because I, I'm, I'm seeing this on the website. You've got the six teams and then you've got the taxi squad. Are these, is this a separate like team or is this the guys who are there to replace someone who gets injured? Yeah, they're there to replace someone that gets okay. injured. Okay, gotcha. Um, it's so kind of like your built-in skate. farm team. Yes, exactly. And they skate, they skate every weekend. And some of them, and a lot of them have been in lineups because in this day, age travel is not the easiest thing and some of our players right. might not make it and then and we've we, as i mentioned we haven't had any injuries yet other than a goalie but they would get in for an injury or if a coach feels that they need a little something different in their lineup for a particular weekend they can they can pull somebody from the taxi squad right on and so it is there are six teams but there's a, a, as you mentioned a taxi squad that's available to to any any coach that, okay, got that. That's that's kind of a cool idea too. Now, of course, um, you guys just kind of made your debut. It was I was in Las Vegas back in June. So the the big difference too, aside it from being three on three versus a five on five situation here, you are basically playing this like you're already in a playoff situation, right? Because you've got it, it's almost like tournament style, is it not? It's totally tournament style. It's just, and the players uh, also it's like the PGA Tour. That's that's what it's modeled after. That's okay. what you wanted them after. So we travel into different cities. Everybody travels in, start playing. Players get paid based on winning. They don't have a salary. Okay, that's players, interesting. Paid <laughs> based on winning, yeah. So it gets pretty competitive. And only four, we're going to have eight eight weeks of regular season and then uh, championship weekend out in Vegas on August 20th. If they win in the first round, the team gets a point. If they okay. win the second round, they get two points. And if they win the championship that weekend, they get three points. Okay, so some, that's so similar now, to the NHL now, there. Yeah, and... Right now, the teams look at the standings and go, "Oh, oh we better get get going." And it gets it gets pretty intense. <laughs> uh, really, you know, p- players are paying for money, but they're also playing to get into the championship weekend. Sure, of course. And then, of, I, I guess maybe the equivalent uh, for the trophy here, as opposed to the Stanley Cup in the NHL, is uh, the Golden Helmet. Is that is that your guys's big big trophy, big prize at the end of all of this? No, no. There's a, there's a trophy at the end. Okay. But the Golden Helmet is for the, the guy that is leading the league in goal scoring. Okay. And it, so it changes from week to week. We've had one guy wear it uh, three times. Another guy is going to wear it for the second time this time. And it's uh, they, it, everybody has a black helmet except for the golden helmet. So it's kind of interesting. How fun. I cannot wait to check this out. Of course, as we mentioned, uh, you guys are bringing this three-on-three action with three ice professional hockey in, in the middle of summer, which is outstanding, too, because I'm also one of those people that, you know, the four or five months that we are with, were without hockey, it's just like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, <laughs> I love the sport and the idea of being able to see it in the middle of summer is is pretty outstanding. It's coming to the Bridgestone Arena on August 6th. Uh, we've got a chance for you to win tickets. All you got to do is sign up on the website at Z975.com. Craig, this has been such an honor. Uh, I'm so excited about the, the whole concept of this league. I'm excited to come check it out in person and I hope that, you know, this not only kind of brings new hockey fans into the greatest game on earth, but it kind of helps tie to those of us over there waiting for that NHL seasons to uh, to kick up again because it's, it's a lonely four or five months. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're looking forward to get to Nashville. I'm looking forward to see you, Samantha. Absolutely. I will I will be there with Bells on. Craig, thank you so much. I mean, it's, it's been an absolute honor not just to talk about the sport, but to talk about you because I know your history and, uh, you know, you, you're definitely a legend and it's been a great honor. I appreciate your time so much. Thank you very much, Samantha. Thanks, Craig. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Perfect.